Next one, we're gonna present. We're gonna have Mike Flynn and Claire Hyde, and they'll be presenting the award, Entrepreneur of the Year. Hi, I'm Claire Hyde, co-founder of Inside Out Health with my husband, Dr. Nick, and we are happy to be serving the community of entrepreneurs in Santa Cruz. And I am Mike Flynn, the host, second generation entrepreneur and host of the Impact Entrepreneur Show, where I interview New York Times bestselling authors, world-class athletes, and entrepreneurs who are using their platform to have a game-changing impact in the lives of others. And you don't have to, it's not a social impact show, it's a show where anybody can be on the show but you have to have one moment where, that I refer to as an impact moment where you've come in touch with your greatness and it's launched you on a trajectory that has changed your life and changed the people that you encounter. And Claire, did you know that the honoree tonight actually has a lot in common with NASA and Tesla and Apple and Google? Did you know that? No, how so? Well, first of all, she likes nice things. That was my joke. But, but most importantly, she had an impact moment where her vision of the future became clear and she developed a purpose. And the most important thing that she did was take the next best step toward realizing her dreams. And she responded to the call to greatness. So the 2017 Nexties Entrepreneur of the Year is Cindy Hernandez de Cornejo. Hello, thank you. You know, growing up, I wanted to be a singer one day, and I dreamt on winning a Grammy. But then I met my husband, and one day he told me. If you ever want to pursue a career in singing, stick to making dresses. So I followed my passion with what, you know, designing dresses and, you know, clothes for you beautiful women out there. And my passion for shoes. And I followed my dream to open my boutique. I opened Queens in 2007. We're going to turn 10 years old next April. And I cannot believe it's been 10 years already especially since last year was almost the end of it. I was at the worst year in sales, and it was an emotional roller coaster because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep going with the business. It was my dream, and for nine years I worked so hard for this, and I was not feeling the passion anymore. But then in early, what was it, February of last year, I got a 30-day eviction notice. I had 30 days to leave my space, find a new space for Queens, or simply quit. But that wasn't an option. I, I mean, after all those years, I couldn't just give up. And I remember coming that night, and I told my husband the story. You know, we have 30 days. There's no way we can make it happen. What's going to happen next? And my daughter comes, and she gives me the biggest hug ever. And she said, Mommy, Remember, you have me, you have Lucas, my boy, and you have daddy, and that's what really matters, family, mommy. And when she said that, somehow, something told me everything's gonna be okay. The next day, I went to have uh, breakfast with my mom, and I drove by East Lake, and I saw a for rent space. So I drove by, I went to see that space, and something in my heart, the minute I walked in, told me this is it. So by the third day of the eviction notice, I had a new space. And on actually, Facebook just reminded me of this. On March 21st, <laughs> March 21st, I got the keys for the shop. And two weeks later, we had the grand opening. We've been there for one year. It's going to be one year on April. And it's going to be our 10th year anniversary that same month, April. So we're celebrating double. So you all are invited to come. We're gonna have a big party with cupcakes and champagne and you know wine. So come and shop. Um, I designed my dress just for the event. So 
Thank you, Matt, and everybody who made this possible. I'm honored to be among so many amazing people. It's amazing, and I'm honored. Thank you so very much to my wonderful husband, my family, my friends who are here supporting me. It means the world. Thank you so much. Yeah.